What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a great day of tech news for you, a bunch of new stuff. So let's just dive right in. Our first story of the day, actually first two stories have to do with the Pixel 7, the first one is a little fun marketing thing going on over in Japan with Google, and this is what it's all about. It looks like Google Japan is giving away Pixel 7 themed potato chips to 2,000 lucky winners. And some of the flavors that you can get are snow cheese flavor, hazel onion flavor, salty lemon flavor, and obsidian pepper flavor. And you can see on the bags themselves, it shows like the camera design and the bar going across. They're like, just like it would look like on the back of the phone. This is really, really fun stuff. I love these collector item things that phone companies and other companies do with things that they don't generally create, but they are marketing items. I, I love this. Um, I, I almost feel like when you buy a phone, or you know, a big ticket item. Companies should do stuff like this. I think it adds, you know, it's not like it, it's not like something that's gonna uh, probably make you personally buy the device, but it might stare you in that direction. Like, oh, this company's fun. They're releasing these other things with it that I can get that look kind of like this item, but I can eat it. Like, I think that's so fun. What do you guys think? Do you like these kind of off-center items that companies come out with for marketing items, or do you like, eh, I don't care, let me know. Speaking of the Pixel 7, and this is all from Roland Kwan saying that both new Pixels, that's the 7 and 7 Pro, will come with 128 and two or 256 gigabytes of storage and should be shipping within two weeks off after the launch event on October 6th. So the takeaway from this is if you wanted like a 512 or a one terabyte version of the Pixel 7 or 7 Pro, doesn't look like they're going that route. It looks like they're going the same route they did last year with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, 128 and 256. 256, you, they probably know something more so than I do, and I would agree with them, is that 256 is probably perfectly fine for almost everybody in the world. I know there's gonna be some that need more than that, but ultimately, let's be honest, you don't truly need it. Once you offload some photos and videos into the cloud or onto a backup uh, hard drive or somewhere like that, you don't, generally need all that much storage. So with that, you're probably also thinking, or you can probably imagine that the prices for the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro are gonna be very, very competitive. I would guess no more than they were last year, probably the same exact price, maybe lower. I can't see them going higher. Um, if they do go higher, it's obviously supply, supply, train, supply train, chain issues. Um, but hopefully they keep the prices low on these phones. I am looking forward to the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro though. Next up, Vivo X Fold Plus. This is what we potentially know thus far. Remember, I had the Vivo X Fold, did a bunch of videos, but the Vivo X Fold Plus is coming out or being announced fairly soon. And this is what we know. Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, which would match the Z Fold 4's one. The 2K 120Hz LTPO AMOLED display inside. 50, 48, 12, and eight cameras on there, 4,700 milliamp battery with 80 watt fast charging, so that's a little bit faster than it was last year. Coming soon, design potentially the same as what we got last year, um, and if they do that, it's probably to keep the prices a little bit lower, but hopefully they bring this to more markets outside of China so that it can be a more compelling device software-wise for everyone else, especially on the Western side of the world. Next up, as you can see from this headline right here, if you have a Galaxy device for 99 bucks, if your screen is cracked, if you have a Galaxy S device, S9 or newer, if you have a Note device that is Note 9 or newer, and if you have a Galaxy A series, and excludes all S and Note models prior to S9, you can get your screen repaired for basically 100 bucks. If you have a Z Fold series, uh, it could be a Z Flip or Z Fold, no matter if it's one, two, three, or four, you can get your screen fixed for 250 bucks. Some caveats in here are, if you're looking to be eligible for this, you have to bring it to either, uh, you have to have a Samsung account, don't have to have a Samsung account if you're in California, um, but you can still get it fixed if you're in California. And to start with the repair process, you have to do it via Samsung's website or mail-in or walk-in service option or Best Buy locations or bestbuy.com. Also take into consideration that this does not include the replacement of back screen glass. This does not cover that 
price. Is the promotion specific to devices purchased on samsung.com? No. Will the battery be replaced as part of the promotion? No. Can I redeem this promotion at a Samsung authorized walk-in location? Yes. How can I ship a device to Samsung? It tells you how. What if my device has damage? Not covered under this promotion. A price uh, change may occur if the price, if the device has a condition not covered under the promotion. And then also what is the regular non-promotional pricing for screen replacement? And you can check that out. So there is kind of a break in pricing right now. It doesn't say, I didn't see when it ends. So if, if you do have a cracked um, screen, you're not gonna get a new phone anytime soon. Definitely take advantage of this, especially if you don't have insurance. And our last story is more of like a heads up and it's very cool. So. As you know, Ross Young has been on my channel, is a big, big person in the display market for basically any device, especially on the mobile side. And he has released a new report, which I haven't seen, but he put a tweet out and the tweet is very telling. And here it is. It's basically saying that DSCC, the company he owns and runs, captures all of 2023's foldable and rollable smartphone and notebook programs, display specs and volumes 2023 forecast provided by month. And his tweet goes on to also say 2023 foldable smartphone lineup revealed, first rollable smartphone, more foldable notebooks and more. So the big takeaway from that to me is first rollable device should be released in 2023. It's in his report. I don't pay for his report. You have to get access to that by paying for it. So I don't pay for his report, but I assume he's going to release it over the coming weeks and months or it'll get leaked out. So you have to, so you have to wonder who's going to be releasing the first rollable smartphone to the market. I would guess it's Samsung, um, but that remains to be seen and maybe it'll be some Chinese manufacturer. Let me know in the comments down below. That'll be your question of the day. Who is going to be the first rollable smartphone company released to the world? Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.